Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Introduce myself. My name is Terija Pratiwi, and I want to explain about the analysis and the for poetic technique in selected poems by Robert Lawrence Stevenson. Next. Um, so, uh, this I want to explain about the four, uh, sorry, five part. But for the first is introduction and literature review, and then the research methodology and the result and findings. And the last is conclusions. Next. So the first I want to explain about the introductions. The literary work is a very important that significantly effective, affected uh, our life on the grounds that we could put uh, ourselves out there by words that could depict our sentiments and music. There are two kinds of literary works, fiction and nonfiction. Fiction is scholarly works in corporate poem, composition, and drama. And then the non-fiction literary works includes the autobiography, essay, biography, and literary criticism. <clears throat> According to Walio, 1995, the literary works of literature even known was in the form of poems. And the literary works is a poem with this poem, a person can express his or her ideas in written or spoken forms. And then the poetry is not only read or listened to and written by adults. And in this research, the researcher explored anaphora in this uh, its poems by Robert Louis Stevenson. And then the limitation of the research is a five selected poems by Robert Louis Stevenson. And the purpose of the research is to find uh, of the total anapora in the five poems uh, by Robert Louis Stevenson. And in this research, there are three key terms. For the first is Robert Louis Stevenson, poem and anapora. And then next, <coughs> The literature review. So the Beldix said that poem is a language sung, recited, and then spoken or composed depended uh, on some example of repeat that underlines the connection between words based on solid just a sense. And then Kudon, a poem is something made met subsequently a masterpiece and then a work of sections and then which might be a rhyme or might uh, be clear refrain or mix of two. And then uh, the anapora is the consequent reiteration of word or expression toward the start of revision to complete a meaning. And then uh, the Robert Louis Benson is man who has interest in the writing, in the writing. Sorry, the he was born in Edinburgh, Scotland, on November. And then the next, the next is about the research methodology. So in this research, uh, the researcher used descriptive qualitative methods, and then. <clears throat> Therefore, the researcher described and the observed observe phenomena in the form of word, sentence, and phrase or clause. The researcher used the method to investigate the anapora in poems. And then object of the research uh, were five style poems by Robert Louis Stevenson. They are the moon, the swing, and then bed in summer from a railway Courage and the land of note. And the instrument of the research is the researcher used the table. And then the result and findings. 
uh, from anaphora is every five poems uh, almost in every stanza of the poems there is a sentence phrase or anaphora causes uh, the poem is the moon the swing and then bed in summer from a rail carriage and the land of it and next And the last is the conclusion. The use of anaphora is found in the five poems because the writers want to convey emphasis and strengthen the meaning. This repetition of words towards the start of uh, each expression in gathering of sentences or statement is a stylization method that can be exceptionally powerful. Finally, this selection poems are appropriate for children because consists of very many simple words and variety words. This all uh, can facilitate children to understand the meaning of poem easily. I think that's all uh, my explanation about uh, my mini research. Thank you very much. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.